हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई नो यू ऑल आर क्वारंटाइन बट ड्यूरिंग द क्वारंटाइन एवरीथिंग इज लॉकड डाउन बट आवर लर्निंग शुड नॉट सो लेट अस लर्न ऑनलाइन एंड विद दिस इनिशिएटिव वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू डिलीवर द बेस्ट ऑफ अस टू यू ऑन द रिस्पेक्टिव कोर्सेस स्पेशली अबाउट द कोर्स विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ऑल ऑफ अस communication and personality development we have finished almost 3 and 4 units in class 3 to 4 units in class so remaining 5 and 6 units we are so we have decided to conduct online i know it will be quite difficult for you to understand this but we will try our level best and we'll give best from our side expectation is you follow the instructions as we give in the videos as well as follow the links and other resources that we provide to you on moodle and complete the assessment so let us begin with unit number 6 interpersonal skills the interpersonal skills means the skills which are very essential when we are behaving in society with other persons now these are the eight skills uh, which we have shortlisted to be learned by all of us i'm going to deal with unit uh the interpersonal skill number 1 that is developing personality in this particular sub unit developing personality we will see what exactly is personality what are the types of personalities some useful information uh, web links that uh, uh, we should use or we should uh, visit to know our own personality as well as what are the uh, characteristics and some of the tips to improve our personality so let's go ahead what exactly do we mean by personality so if we go theoretically we will find that the term personality development refers to the growth or changes in the personal nature of an individual which can be brought about through deliberate efforts so the word deliberate efforts is very important because we 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 do not get our personality developed as we grow naturally or as we grow in terms of years it does not mean that we also develop personality actually personality development means the deliberate efforts to change our behavior to change our personal nature then why personality development or developing our own personality is important it is important for two reasons number 1 focusing on our own personality helps us to acquire the social psychological traits which are needed for effective interaction with the people around us it means once we know about personality various types various traits and focus on our own personality development that will help us to be ready socially as well as psychologically to deal with the people in the society around us second studying personality development or understanding various types of personality patterns one can understand why people tend to behave in a certain way it means when you find a person <coughs> behaving in a particular way in a particular manner as you have studied various types of personality you will find out you will conclude that the concerned person is behaving like that because he belongs to that that kind of personality let us define personality now exactly what is personality what do you think is it inner or outer is it just the way we are wearing our dress the way we are keeping ourselves outside or what <clears throat> just pause the video and think what personality can be i hope you have got some of the ideas let us see now the patterns of it is it is personality is the patterns of thought emotion and behavior it is the combination of how you think how, what are what are your emotional stance what are your emotional views how emotionally strong you are and how you behave based on your thoughts and in your emotions in various situations is nothing but personality it is some of tot it is actually some total of our inner as well as outer characteristics or traits so what is personality it is the sum of inner personality traits as well as outer personality traits let us see them in detail outer personality traits 
what are those outer personality traits that is our let us say our decorating our cells from outer aspect the dress then our uh, hair style let us say the specs that we are wearing or whatever ornaments that we are putting on our body that are outer traits definitely they are important but they help us to be accepted liked and loved but inner traits create lasting impressions and relationships so definitely outer traits outer characteristics of our personality are important but more important than them are our inner personality traits that are our thoughts our emotions our characteristics let us say and what are beliefs that we are having they are very important to be uh, accepted in the society as well as impress or have our have our impression lasting impression and sustainable relationships so as we saw they are the the personality traits they are largely they are largely inborn but also shaped by circumstances so most of the personality traits are inborn they depend on our let us say they are in they are inherent they inherent and uh, most of them are decided because of the circumstances in which we live but they are shaped by the circumstances now based on those inner as well as outer personality traits there are various types of personalities but the common five personality types are extrovert introvert what is extrovert the person who is very bold fun loving can do type of person takes lead in interaction with others so visually we call a talkative person who always is talkative who does not fear to express his or her views who does not uh, be afraid to ask questions and share the views so extrovert who is always let us say bold and fun loving person opposite to that is introvert the reserved shy type of person responds only after some persuasion with doers within doers can do person so he is a within do within doers can do person that is he is also intelligent he also has the views but he does not express his views unless and until asked by someone whatever he has his ideas and everything he will express them in the door within the door he will not express it commonly so extrovert in, introvert ambivert it is a middle ground holder goes out and mingles but always acts with caution depending on the situation so ambivert person is the combination of extrovert and introvert next to are positive and negative the positive person can be ambivert or can be extrovert or introvert but always optimistic willing to take chances risks succeeds more often than not and treats traits failure he 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 treats failure as a step towards success negative kind of person always negative rarely smiles blames others pessimistic and always find faults in others so a positive person is will is always optimistic negative person always finds some faults in others and think negative about the other people now being understood the types of personalities just pause the video and think what kind of personality you possess pause the video for let us say 1 minute and think whether you have what kind of personality and why you think that you possess that personality type i hope you have done with let us go ahead now the types of personality kind of personality depend on various theories two prominent theories are freudian's theory and maslow's theory so what is freudian's theory freudian it it came from uh, the writing the philosophy of sigmund freud a well known psychologist a father of psychology who give who has given the three types of our three parts of our mind id super ego and ego that is id is i want to do that now the id whatever wishes we have we just want to fulfill them now super ego it's not right right time to do that super ego tells he know we should not do this now this is not the correct situation or the circumstance to fulfill it and ego is maybe we can compromise so always we are compromising with the ego so the personality is the combination of our id super ego or ego and ego so ego is actually what is our current personality id this this is nothing but the instinctual needs 
for which individual looks for an urgent satisfaction so whatever we expect we wish we desire that comes in aid super ego is individuals internal expression of society's moral and ethical course of conduct super ego tells us ki even if i wish this 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 is not possible because the circumstance does not allow ego is individuals conscious control that balances the demands from the id and super ego so our personality is combination of these three maslow's hierarchy of needs what maslow says again the second psychologist he says that our personality gets developed if we fulfill the hierarchy of the needs so first one we need psychological needs like we need sorry it is physiological needs we need food water warmth rest if these are fulfilled these are the basic needs then we think about safety needs security and safety if these two are fulfilled we think about belongingness and love needs that is intimate relationships and friendship and so on see we cannot we cannot think about developing friendship with others we cannot think about mingling with people unless we are safe from food water warmth rest security and safety if we these three are fulfilled then these are psychological needs we think about esteem needs that is prestige and feeling of accomplishment i should be known i should achieve something and then comes self fulfillment needs that is self actualization achieving one's full potential including creativity creative activities so what maslow says our personality gets developed or the people who have good personalities they have such personalities because these basic needs such psychological needs are fulfilled then they think about self fulfillment and needs that we cannot think about developing our personality by being hungry and not having a proper security and safety if they are fulfilled then we think about developing personality now again pause the video and visit this site 16personalities.com and go take this particular text in this corner take the test answer the questions truly genuinely and find out what kind of personality result you get pause the video and give the test i hope you have done this now now based on those 16 types based on the four dichotomies these types are divided like this extroversion sensing thinking judging introversion intuition feeling and perceiving either you you can be extroversion or introversion sensing and intuition thinking and feeling judging and perceiving below each result if you have given the test you will find your type of personality and if you scroll down you will find again all the characteristics of your personality given there it it will be like this you must have got result like a, any of these uh, digits let us say let us go ahead and find out now if you are architect it is imaginative and strategic thinkers with a plan for everything if you have got INTP it means you are logician and the characteristics are given i hope you have visited and just uh, take some time and study it properly these are diplomats so these these four are analysts right these combinations they are analysts these four are diplomats if you have got any of these then you are a diplomat if you have got any of these four then it can be sentinels and if you have got any four of any one of these uh, these four then you will be explorer and this this is expected if uh, you have got the results this this kind of personalities are expected in you now having understood the types let us see now what are the tips to develop our personality number 1 definitely keep a smart head and keep cool so always learn something from other people do not get angry anger is our best friend as we all know everybody gets angry easily but we should keep it cool and be smart don't copy anyone if i want to be a good personality it does not mean i should follow someone of course i can follow but i should not copy that person as it is i should find out the best personalities in the world and i should get good from all and based on my own characteristics based on own own whatever physical Uh, attributes i have got based on that i should develop my own create your own personal style the same that i just talked don't doubt yourself this is the biggest mistake that we do can i do this is it possible for me am i capable of doing this if we have all those doubts definitely it will be a kind of hindrance to developing our personality so don't doubt you have all the potentials to achieve anything 
be an active listener very important as we have seen in lsrw skills listener is listening is the mother of all the learning skills so be active listener always listen learn to have patience and focus on your communication skills yes everything will take place at its own time you will not get anything more before that particular time develop your communication skills be polite and gentle with your words always be polite always be gentle don't be harsh don't uh, abuse anyone definitely and don't hurt others with your words be executive in dress of course be professional and don't shout or be aggressive be more passionate about your work and be optimistic whatever work is given to you be passionate about that and be optimistic accept and recognize your weak points whatever weak points you have recognize those weak points and accept those others it helps the same qualities to be grown in us too so this is quite difficult you know we we uh, find it uh, we are very we, we are a kind of miser to appreciate someone for their good qualities we always are ready to find the faults but appreciating someone is quite challenging for us do this to develop your personality appreciating others for their good points for their achievements definitely will help to grow as well as in invite those qualities in your personality also know when to speak up when to speak how to speak where to speak so if you are acquiring those skills achieving those skills will it will help you to develop your personality don't be afraid to talk to others we we usually find it if i have to say something to someone else i find it difficult even if i am talking with my students talking with my teachers talking with my uh, authorities i think twice of course we should definitely think before we speak but don't be afraid if your point is correct and if you have genuine problem you should talk with others having a sense of humor is a plus point it is not i'm not saying you should be a joker who always amuse other people no you should have sense of humor to create humor in a situation remember personality doesn't mean that you should have looks of course if you can understand this like i should not personality development is not just developing my look it is not related to this or it is not limited to that be kind and considerate now this is just i would like to end up with uh, differentiating between uh, winners and the losers so the winners and losers how they are different from each other they are different hard work and consistency the winners always believe in hard work and they are consistent the losers are opposite the winners never give up at never give up attitude the winners have never give up attitude others on the other side losers always you know uh, find some problems and they give up the things the winners are always focused and determined the strategies strategic planning and deliverance so winners are always having their strategic plan and how to deliver that particular plan the winners are always self confident they are a very good time managers they always are practical and very importantly the winners the positive people are always positive in all the aspects and even if they find challenges they find out the positive and they start dealing with that particular problem so being very short about personality development let me end up here and uh, tell you that uh, i'm going to share you uh, share with you some useful web links of uh, videos as well as some of the websites where you can check your personality where you can learn more about personality types and uh, at the end of uh, uh, this uh, video in moodle uh, below this video in moodle i have uploaded one quiz also so attempt that short quiz and uh, submit that quiz on time thank you very much we will see the next part in next videos